Welcome back. I'm Marcella Lee. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. We told you last month about an incident at a Chula Vista coffee shop where a man walked in and went on a profanity laced rant in customers faces. Now a new problem for that shop could force it to close its doors. The brew bar says its lease is suddenly being sold and the business must now raise $100,000 by the end of the month. CBS 8's Heather Hope has more on how some customers are now stepping up to help in this Your Stories report. Since having up this Black Lives Matter sign in front of the establishment, Brewbar says it has drawn controversy. Now employees say that the owner of the building is selling this space and that they only have until the end of the month to try to raise enough money to save it. We have live music every night. This is a safe space for everybody. People feel safe here. Yeah, it's like a home away from home for a lot of people. And it's unfortunate that it's come to this. <laughs> Brew Bar Cafe manager Sabrina Heimer says the days are numbered for the coffee shop restaurant on 3rd Avenue in Chula Vista. It's either we raise the money and buy the space out or we get out of here. <laughs> Sabrina says the corporation that holds the lease to Brew Bar space is selling it for $100,000 and that the push to sell came right after the business made headlines following a man walking in on December 1st and shouting expletives due to a Black Lives Matter sign hanging up. I'm white! Get out! I'm white! Chula Vista police later arrested 68-year-old Howard Freelove and gave him a citation for misdemeanor vandalism after Freelove was shown damaging the Brew Bar's door. He was very aggressive. We didn't know how far it would go. Sabrina says the brew bar has received negative attention in response. We've just had, we've gotten hate mail. We've gotten a lot of different things. In an effort to save brew bar and stay in the same location, the business is holding a fundraiser with live music and food next Saturday, January 15th at 10 a.m. until 7 p.m. and has a GoFundMe page set up to raise 100 grand by January 31st. We definitely do need a lot of help. Now Brew Bar customers are stepping in. I'm just a couple of blocks away, and uh, I, I love going there. Customer so. and comedian Sandy Guerrero says she is organizing a comedy show at the January 15th fundraiser to help. Well, I have a good lineup. I have five comedians. I have one headliner. The headliner is Neil Sai. He's really funny. Brew Bar supporters hope the business can raise enough money in time. If everybody could get together, let's keep the brew bar in there because it's one thing that stands out from the rest. I mean, part of me thinks that like we're going to pull through and make it, but then there's the other part of me that really thinks that we might not be able to raise enough money in time. We have until the end of January, so it's really cutting it close. 